Hey everyone, I just got done filming um, this tutorial for this look. It's like an everyday neutral eye that I wear a lot um, to work and like on my days off when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup. Um, but it was a request from a couple of you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you're interested in this video, please continue watching. Um, and I will have pictures at the end. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I've already primed both of my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, and then I did the eyeshadow on one eye already. So I'm going to get started with the other eye. So this is going to be my first tutorial I've ever talked in, so I'm sorry if I absolutely suck. Um, anyways, in the crease, I use a mid-tone brown. I take Max Eyeshadow in Cork, and yes, I've hit pan. I use this for a lot of different things. And then I just apply it in my crease and I blend it up and down as well I only use two eyeshadow colors in this whole look again it's gonna be really quick and really simple and you can just blend it up excuse me my mirrors like back there so if I'm looking like up that is why I it's hard to do stuff backwards <laughs> anyways that's all I do then on the lid, I take um, from the Urban Decay Ammo Palette, I take the color Sin, which is right here, and I put that all over my lid. Now I focus it more on the lower portion of my lid, like more towards the lash line. Um, sorry. So yeah, I just apply it on the lid. And I also get a little bit more and apply it in the inner tear duct. Again, to waken up the eye. Okay. I'm sorry if the lighting sucks too. I'm um, recording on my MacBook. <clears throat> I probably should have done it on my HD um, camera, but the battery's dead. Okay, so that's pretty much all I do. <laughs> and I blend out the edges of the sin into the cork. Um, and then I take a little bit of the sin on the tip of the brush and um, apply it on my lower lash line. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even mention the brush. This is the MAC 239 <laughs> that I use to apply the color over my lid. And then the blending brush I use is the MAC 224. Um, that's it for the eyes as far as eyeshadow goes. Um, for highlight, I use my favorite um, cream color base in Pearl. Here. It's kind of gross, but I just apply it on the brow. For some reason, I like this better than a powder highlight. I don't know. I've just I've been using it forever, and when I find something I like, I always use it until it's like out. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Uh, I've been using my Mac um, gel liner in Black Track with my Sonia Kashuk liner brush. It's the bent eyeliner brush. Okay, so I've already lined my eyes with my MAC gel liner and black track. Um, I always wing my liner, so again, I'll make a separate tutorial on that. Um, next thing I'm going to do is my brows. Um, I took a, I depotted, um, or I depotted. I bought this pan um, for my eyebrows and I put it in like this elf quad um, just for easy access. So I don't have to pull out my whole palette on a daily basis. Um, but then I take my Equal Tools Angled Brush and I apply it on my brows. And the color is in Embark. I used to use um, cork a lot. I still do. But for some reason, I've been into the darker brow look. And my hair is really dark anyways in the roots, so it kind of goes well. So I just shade in um, my brows a little bit. Because they're actually pretty um, light. And your eyebrows frame your face. So Then to tame them, I use my Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. It's supposed to be for um, well, mascara, but I use it as a brow gel. It works just as well. If not exactly the same as any name brand um, brow gel. So that's all I do with my eyebrows. I really don't do anything else. 
Um, as far as contour and bronzer, I use my Hula bronzer most of the time. And yes, my dog did chew that up, if, I have, if you haven't heard that already. And I suck in my cheeks and I apply the bronzer right there. So let me show you. And I kind of like go up and down, move my brush around. I don't know. There's no specific method that I use. But this is just what works for me. And I go all the way up into the hairline by my ear. I pull down the bronzer under my, or on my neckline, on my chin, or my jawline, excuse me, my jawline, and then I apply it underneath my chin. This slims the face. <laughs> I need some slimming. Blush, daily basis, I, I've been using my NARS um, blush in Madly. It's kind of just like a peachy, beige color. It's good for every day. And um, I smile and apply it. And I kind of like blend it up. And blend it into the bronzer as well. Okay. And if I want a little more color, I apply, I've been using this a lot lately too, is the uh, MAC Orgasm. It's a peachy pink. And I apply it on my apples and kind of like blend it up. I don't know if it's not showing up too well on camera. All right. Um, only other thing I do, I don't know why I do like my mascara really last, like one of the last things I do, but I do. Um, so I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply my mascara. Right Using Lash Blast Volume Cover Girl. I don't like to put a lot of mascara on. So at the most, I do like two coats. For my lower lashes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Pulse Perfection. Why do we make ugly faces when we apply mascara, especially on the lower lashes? It's really weird. Hmm, wonder. And last but not least is lips. I keep it very neutral all the time, not even just on a daily day basis. I've just been putting gloss on, but the I just put Carmex on, and then this is the Revlon Lip Gloss in Nude Luster. And then if I want more color, which I do today, I apply the pink like a brighter pink. This is from the limited edition collection. Uh, this one's called Pink Pink Pop. And there's no way you're gonna be able to see that because it's super small. But it's a bright, bright, like fuchsia pink. Not even fuchsia, just bright pink. That is my everyday um, routine. If I wear any eyeshadow, if I don't, then it's just my liner and the same thing. So, I hope that wasn't too boring. I told you it was going to be super easy. Um, it was requested. So if you guys have any other requests, any other questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and more tutorials should be up soon. I'm sorry if it was a little awkward. I don't, I'm not used to this tutorial talking type of thing. I prefer to just play music and let you see what I do. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.